Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are doing yet another declutter and obviously today's is about eyeshadow palettes and I'm also doing my single eyeshadows and my eyeliners. So these are all of my eyeshadow palettes. There are some you can't see over there. Um, I'm going to try to go through this pretty quickly because I think I know what I want to get rid of. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So first of all, I know exactly what I'm getting rid of. I'm going to get rid of this Makeup Revolution palette. Um, I bought it for a... Uh, review comparison between this and the um, Kat Von D shade and light palette um, obviously Kat Von D is way better so there's no reason to keep both of them so that one's gonna be passed along Lupin no obviously keeping the Kat Von D shade and light it's like a staple you kind of just have to keep it in your collection I feel like at least I do because I have a serious problem getting rid of things but that one's definitely staying um, definitely keeping the Urban Decay Naked Heat. Love this palette. Obviously, obviously keeping not Natasha Denona. Like, there is no way I will ever part with this. It's just, it's too beautiful and too expensive to get rid of at any point. Um, I'm also going to keep the Urban Decay Naked Basics. I really like this palette. I don't use it quite enough because I feel like it gets lost in my collection. But I definitely want to start using it more. It's got some beautiful shades. It's got warm tones, cool tones all mattes, exactly what I'm looking for, so definitely need to start using this one more and get some use out of it. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one. This was just awful. It just did not do anything that I expected it to do. It just, no. So this one's going to go, by the way, this is from Hard Candy. Um, I'll link the video down below where I tested this out. It just, just so, so disappointing. However, I'm and keeping the all matte one that they did because this one is beautiful. It performs so well. It's fantastic. Love this palette. It's under $10 and it's just, it's a great, great drugstore palette. And I love being able to reference this one as well. Um, this is the Morphe Kathleen Lights palette. I honestly have not used this more than like twice. So I need to get some more use out of it because I really think it's beautiful. Um, I just need to use it some more so definitely keeping that one and even if I wasn't going to use it honestly I don't think I would be able to get rid of I don't think I would be able to get rid of a Kathleen Lights palette just because like I love her she's one of my favorite YouTubers so I kind of want to keep like her uh, collaborations just to support her um, this is the Persona Identity Palette. I just got this one, so this one is definitely staying. I've used it once, um, but I'm not ready to share any opinion on it, so definitely keeping this one. Gotta test it out some more. Um, I have three Anastasia palettes. Definitely keeping the Modern Renaissance, like, obviously. Um, oh, by the way, please ignore my hand. I did some, I did a lip declutter just a few minutes ago, and... This watch just got a little messy. Um, the Subculture palette, I'm going to pass on. I love the colors in here. I really wanted this to work for me, but I just, I can't get it to. And honestly, when I'm doing my makeup, 99% of the time, I don't have enough time to sit down and really work to make these colors do what they're supposed to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass it on because I feel like someone else will love it way more than I do. Um, I just don't have time to make these shadows work, you know? So, that one's going to be fast on, even though I love the packaging. It's so beautiful. I just, I can't. Um, this is the Prism Palette. I have not used this more than, like, a few times. I think I used it, like, the entire month I got it, and then I stopped using it. So, I need to pull this back out and get some more use out of it, because I really thought it was beautiful. And I think the formula is much more like the... Uh, modern Renaissance formula, which I love. So, definitely gonna pull this one out and use it more. This is the Tarte Clay Play palette. I know I gave this a bad review, but I feel like I need to use it some more and try and make it work because this is like my dream palette. So, I definitely want to make it work. I just need to sit down and kind of make it work, if that makes sense. Um, but it may end up in a future declutter. I'm not sure. I have three large palettes here. Obviously, I'm not getting rid of the Too Faced Natural Love palette. It's just, I love opening this palette up and just looking at it. It's so beautiful. I will never get rid of this. 
it's, it's perfect. Um, Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I don't use this quite as much as I mean to, but again, I think it gets lost in my collection, so I need to keep pulling this one out and using it because it really is beautiful and, and it really does perform the way you want an eyeshadow palette to perform. Um, this is just a absolutely massive D palette with basically no singles in it because it gets lost in my collection as well, so I need to figure out a new way to store this so that I can get to it easily so I can use them. Um, all of these over here are Makeup Geek, and then these three are Maybelline, and this is the Balm, I think. Um, so I need to use this more, and I need to fill it up. I just, I never get around to it. <laughs> Um, this is the Urban Decay Naked Smoky. Pretty sure I featured this in a declutter like last year. And I was supposed to get rid of it and then I pulled it out because I'm a chicken. Um, yeah, I still haven't touched it. So it is definitely absolutely going now. It's just nothing about this speaks to me. I cannot look at this and actually see anything that I would use for a look. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, it's gotta go. I'm tired of looking at it and feeling guilty. Obviously, I'm not getting rid of the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. It's just, y'all know, it's my favorite. It's hands down the best palette. It just oh, makes me so happy to look at it. Love this palette. I have all four of the new Wet n Wild palettes that they came out with. Um, I bought these for a review, which I will link down below in case you're interested. Um, I'm not going to keep all of them. I'm definitely going to keep the original Comfort Zone. I love this palette. So I think I'm going to get rid of the new one, maybe, maybe I'll keep the new one. Yeah, I'm going to be a little bit of a hoarder, I'm sorry, and I'm going to keep both of the uh, comfort zones just because I really do love these colors and because this one has the transition shades, I'll be able to use it with both of them and just, yeah, those are staying. Um, for these three. I'm definitely gonna get rid of this one. It's just too, too cool toned. It's not my jam, so I have no reason to keep it. Um, this one, I really wanted it to be a dupe for the Modern Renaissance, but the shades are just not pigmented enough, and there's no reason to keep it if it's not pigmented and I don't wanna use it when I can just reach for the Modern Renaissance, so that one's gonna go as well. But I think, actually no, I'm gonna get rid of this one too, so. The only one I'm going to keep is the comfort zone, and the rest are going away. So in this little container, I have my like smaller palettes. So I have the new Milani palettes. I really like these. Um, I'm not ready to part with them yet. They're just, they're really nice palettes. So, yeah, not ready to part with those yet. Um, this is a Blink eyeshadow palette that I got in a BoxyCharm. These shades are so buttery and beautiful, and I never reach for this palette because it's all shimmers, and I kind of forget about it, but I really do want to reach for it more because, like, look at that pigmentation. Like, that's insane. I really do need to reach for these more, so I'm going to keep this and put it somewhere extremely, extremely visible so that I start reaching for it because uh, these shades are just so, so beautiful. Um, this is a crown palette that came in my BoxyCharm. Also, have not reached for it. I don't understand why. It's so beautiful. The swatches that I did of it when I first got it were just like, wow. Um, these are again, very buttery, very creamy. There's some really cool, funky colors that you don't, don't normally see in palettes. So again, I want to make this more visible so that I can actually use it. And obviously I'm not getting rid of this. This is such a beautiful palette. I mean, it just definitely cannot get rid of that. I love it so much. So up next, I've got these single shadows. Um, I've got this tiny little Smashbox duo that came like an Ipsy or something. Um, I haven't even used it. They're really creamy. Um, Wow, that's really soft and pretty. They're really pretty, but I, mean, I don't use them, so I'm just gonna go and pass them on because I just don't use them. 
Um, this is the Urban Decay Backfire Single. I don't use this, but my husband gave it to me for Christmas, for our first Christmas together. He gave me like a whole bunch of purple makeup, um, and I don't use any of it, but I love the fact that he went out and bought me purple makeup, so definitely keeping this just for the nostalgic factor of my husband giving it to me for Christmas. Um, I have all of my liquid eyeshadows in here from Stila all of my, or my uh, full size and all of my minis. Definitely keeping all of these. I love them. They're all different enough to justify keeping in my opinion. So definitely keeping those. Um, this is a Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick. I used this a couple times and honestly it creased so badly and it just like disappeared after a couple of hours. Um, I have it in the shade Golden Peak Pink. It's so beautiful. It just, it doesn't last on me. I have really 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 oily eyelids and it just it doesn't last on me so that one is definitely going and then finally i'm gonna get rid of all of these maybelline shadows um i was planning on depotting them and putting them in my z palette but they're just not worth it i don't think they're good enough so i'm gonna get rid of them okay so that is all of my eyeshadow palette declutter i got rid of a decent amount considering eyeshadow palettes are like my favorite thing to collect so i hope you guys liked today's video please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you next one bye